up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh. I am back with a brand new review of The Mandalorian Chapter 7. So, this video itself will be short just because there's not too much to say about the actual episode because it's a really good episode. So the story itself focuses back again on the baby Yoda, the child, the child storyline. I don't like to call it Baby Yoda because it's not a baby version of Yoda or Yoda's baby. I call it the child. So the child story is once again the focus of this episode and it is good that we see some of the previous characters from previous episodes return and those that were making just one-off appearances and whatnot. It's nice to see them again. Just to put it out there, it still doesn't justify the character not the qu character the quality of those episodes where these one-off characters were introduced because those episodes could have done been done in a better way and still introduce these characters to have them play a part in this episode and the next but with that out of the way this episode was entertaining it was funny i love it when um the the i can't remember his name right now the guild boss guy is like baby yoda's gonna eat me that kind of jazz it's really funny because baby yoda eats baby yoda i keep on saying baby yoda the child eats meat and whatnot uh, that was entertaining uh the whole betrayal thing was you know kind of expected but it was still entertaining through the way that it built up to it and of course the reveal of the Grand Moff was very well done. It's interesting to find out how he actually knew that the child wasn't with the Mandalorian. But until next episode I won't know for sure how he did. His introduction was really cool. The way the TIE Fighter landed was very interesting. I think a lot more impractical in the idea that it takes up more space. But it's probably more secure and in a sense getting off more practical than having the wings straight and the pod itself being higher up. But nonetheless, this episode had some great action and the ending itself, which is the main thing I really just want to talk about because everything else, watch the episode, you'll like it. The ending itself was really emotional because when dies, it was really sad. I didn't cry anything, but I really felt the pain of seeing dead body and the child being taken. There is hope for the next episode and with the this episode being this good once again directed by Deborah Chow, I'm very excited for the finale of season one of The Mandalorian. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and until next time, I'll see you